Hey, check out my brand new book, Micro Shelters, online, Amazon, and elsewhere. Artscope Magazine, shout to them. They featured us recently, and it will be part of an upcoming workshop in Brockton, Mass. And a shout to tinyhousechattanooga.com. Check out a video we recently featured on them on this channel, and please subscribe if you'd be so kind. What's up? I'm Deke from RelaxShacks.com here at the Tiny House Jamboree, the first annual, or so we hope, 2015 with Dave. Falasco. Falasco. I had to quick look at the name tag. I don't, <laughs> want, I don't want to butcher your name in the video, Dave. All right. uh, from Dome Creations, and we are hanging out in the uh, fairly hot Colorado Springs sun. Tell us about what you got going on here behind you because it's very cool in a futuristic Mad Max like way. Yes, this is a 16 foot diameter geodesic dome. Uh, I come up with the concept uh, back in the 80s. We were making them out of wood frame at the time. In the last two years, I switched to making them out of aluminum with okay. double walled polycarbonate. And the main thing is for greenhouses, but we use them for hot tub enclosures, oh, okay. mountain cabins. They come in a kit. We set this dome up in an hour and a half for the show. Really? Um, basically, you got pentagons, which are the five triangles that look like the Chrysler symbol. Yeah. And then you have the hexagons, which is six sided. So basically, you're getting six of the pentagons and five of the hexagons that bolt together. And we put it on a 54 inch riser wall to give you enough headroom to put a door in there. Um, they're portable. This one is 200 square feet, but it's 2,000 cubic feet for growing if you want to grow in them, which most people are using. What would they be growing in Colorado, Dave? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Can't imagine. <laughs> Can't imagine. What's that smell? Yeah. Um, how, now what's come ship package wise? Like, how heavy is something like Could you fit the whole kit, say, in the back of a standard pickup truck? This trailer here, I can fit two of these. Okay, in. all right. Just getting a reference here, size-wise. Yeah, it's a 14 foot by eight, uh, seven foot. Box. Now, assembling these is any numeric order, or is it just make your little Chrysler symbol and you're good to go if you make enough of them in a certain pattern? They come already bolted. The only thing you do is take these short walls and bolt them to a long wall. Every other one. Gotcha. So you have four long walls and five short walls. Once that's done, you put this door frame kit in. All right. And then you start putting your pentagons on the riser wall. They just bolt on the riser wall. And then between them, over here, once you have that one on and this one on, you take the half hex there and put it in there and it gives it okay. stability. What's the biggest dome you carry size-wise? 30 foot diameter. Wow, okay. Which is, the triangles would be twice the size, but you get 750 square feet. Is there interior support, like pole-wise, in the center for something like that, or just? I mean, that's the that's the beauty of a dome. At least should be. It is. If the you go back to the old, is unbelievable. Exactly, like Lloyd Kahn and his old dome books and such, and uh, Buckminster, Buckminster Fuller. Fuller, of course. Yes. You have to drop that name, yeah. Definitely. Um, but I saw some pictures of some of your cabin conversions. I walked to them like this would be awesome in yeah. the mountains or in some shady spot where you could make a nice little, quick to build, simple, affordable, you know, bug out shelter or camp. I do have a design coming out that will be for a mountain cabin yeah. and one for a concession stand Okay. where every one of these openings can be, you can serve food out of them. So you have four areas you can serve food out well, of. Well, the great thing about this is like even the reason we walked over here at the Tiny House Jamboree, yours is the one cabin or one structure is very different. And there's a shipping container one from Rhino Cubed as well, mm -hmm. but it, it stands out. So concession wise, that's half the battle, getting people over to your stand. Oh, yeah. So I could actually see those doing pretty well. Uh, again, Dave Falasco from uh, DomeCreationsOnline.com. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Dave.